a modern sales organization. Yeah, I, I like using this term. You know, you hear inside sales a lot. You hear sales development a lot. You hear the stuff that we hear from predictable revenue, like the specialization piece. But what I like to say is it's like you either have a modern sales organization or you don't. And that's really what it boils down to because some organizations might need to specialize some ways different than others. But the question is, is are you modern? And what that means is, are you driving to do things better? And are you driving to use the right technologies and processes that exist today that people have proven before us? And so, you know, I, I, we talked about this question. And then I met four high-growing SaaS companies today. Some of them are here in the, in the audience. And I learned that, like, you already know that stuff. Like, you, you all out there in New York, in the city here, you all are, like, on the, on the top of the, you know, you're the cream of the crop. You're doing things right. So, like, really, I mean, I don't know if there's that much to add in terms of what a modern sales organization is. What I did learn and what I keep learning is that there's stages inside these sales organizations. And uh, one of the big examples that I've really started to hear a lot, and we went through it ourselves, when I started Sales Loft, we had this kind of like hot thing that a lot of people wanted. And so what we did was we were able to reach out to virtually anybody with a soft touch. It didn't have to be like a deeply personal or deeply like custom type approach. And we were able to get them to pay attention, sign up, add on, buy, get involved, like kind of get in the family, you know what I'm saying? And so I see a lot of these companies, they come up with this hot technology, these hot new things, and they're able to like carpet blast the universe and get some buy-in and get some growth and get some milestones and hit some numbers. But what happens is eventually you come to this point where you've got to recalibrate, you know who your customer is, you want to go deeper, and you've got to start building real relationships with these people. And what came to mind was this. If you're out there and you have a sales process and it's working, you think it's working, it's working, but it doesn't require significant sales skills, then you should be skeptical, right? So the whole idea is, is that you're out there and you're like sending these email blasts and people are responding, but you're not really diving in and connecting with these buyers and solving their problems and asking the right questions and going deep as a consultative salesperson to these people, then eventually the gig's gonna dry up. And so that's really the big lesson that I've learned about the modern sales organization is that these modern sales companies, they figure out how to solve problems of their buyers and they figure out ways to get really personal and really custom with the people they're interacting with over time. What do you think?